Hello and welcome to Schemage Tech, where we review anything and everything in short informative videos. In this episode, we have a UFO touch controlled and gesture controlled drone for kids. Okay, so in this episode, we talk about a touch and gesture controlled drone for kids for ages 8 plus. As we can see, it arrived in a pretty damaged packaging. Uh, obviously, it is made in China and it comes from Amazon UK. Uh, this got sent from Amazon directly to me to review it. Uh, yeah, and the state of <laughs> how it looks is uh, uh, pretty bad in terms of the packaging. I hope it is uh, not damaged inside. So let's see quickly what is inside the box. And I see we need a knife to open it. Before we go into the box, shortly what we have outside, there's a description. Uh, the brand apparently is Utora Interactive Aircraft. Uh, it's in English and in German. It is a gesture controlled uh, drone, so basically you touch it and then uh, it flies in the direction where you touch it. And apparently it also has obstacle warning. Uh, there are the usual C signs which are necessary to sell in Europe. And let's see what is in this pretty <laughs> bad package. And only, the only thing what we see is the drone here. We see a charging cable and we see a little key here where I'm not sure what it is for, probably for turning it on and off. And here's the charging port. You can see here, here's the charging port. And we have here lights. And I see there is one light apparently missing or it looks like we see it later when we turn it on. Uh, it has a little knobs where it stands on and that's basically all. And a little cage around it and uh, one, two, three, four little rotors. So let's see uh, how this thing, if it turns on and if it flies and uh, what it does in general. Okay, so I found hidden in the box also uh, this little manual. It basically explains in English and German uh, how the, the whole thing works and it is actually fairly easy. Uh, we have here on the back side, when we turn it around, here's the charging port, which is a proprietary port, so you won't be able to connect USB-C or USB uh, uh, micro USB. And here is a tiny little switch you can turn on. Uh, here, this little thing is actually meant uh, to switch between various flight speeds. And uh, once you turn it on, it will start and it will hovering, and it will hover uh, quite a height and goes then a bit down. And then when you touch it, it flies in the opposite direction. Uh, if it touches something or flies against the wall, it will turn around and uh, basically turns off and fall down. The same is when you want to land the drone, uh, you just grab it and turn it around and with that, uh, the drone will land. So it's fairly easy. Uh, the cage here is uh, small little fingers can go in there. So uh, I would not let play a small, uh, small child with it. Uh, and this rotate at a fairly high speed because it's uh, only tiny propellers. So they can definitely hurt fingers if you put the finger in there. So that was definitely not a good idea. Other than that, the cage is pretty good. So if you grab it normally, even with child hands, I let it hold my daughter, it's not a problem. Uh, there's a lot of text above it, but uh, let's turn it on and see what happens. And as we can see, it's turning on now. And only the LED lights are actually blinking. And when we press that button again, then nothing happens. When we press the button two times, then it should start calibrating. And we have the switch here. And with that, we can turn it on. And it will probably will fly against the camera now. Uh, but let's see what happens. It turned off now. Let's turn it on again.
So, as you could see, hopefully or, or probably not, um, it does fly. It goes usually in a direction about standing height and then goes a bit down and you can touch it. Uh, what I have seen so far is this is a toy for 12 pounds uh, currently with a 40% voucher. So it's about seven, eight pounds. Uh, and it does not always do what you expect it to do. So the thing is when you touch it on this side, it should be op uh, flying in the opposite direction. It does not do that all the time. Uh, as we can see here, one of the, the sensors here already went out from falling down. And uh, there are sensors on all four sides here. And uh, one of the one, uh, this one's actually here is already uh, fallen out. I need to fix that. Uh, the other thing is when you touch it, it doesn't always fly in a direction. Sometimes it just loops over your hand. So it is fairly unreliable. It might be a lot of fun for kids to play, but I would not expect uh, a very long lifetime out of it. Um, and yeah, it is it is a toy and it is maybe good for uh, a couple hours play, but I, I would not expect, uh, as I said, a very long lifetime, especially as we see it comes all, already apart here. Uh, and needs to be uh, put in again, which is fairly hard because you need to somehow remove this. It is removable, so you you can remove the cage here. Let us quick, quickly have a look at here. And uh, I, I will not break it now, but uh, you can remove partially and can uh, go inside and fix propellers and things like that. But there are no replacement parts. So what is my overall thought about this? Uh, if you have a couple pounds to spend and uh, want to give your, your kid a, a couple hours of fun. Uh, it might be definitely worth it, but I personally uh, would not buy it. I would maybe uh, spend a bit more and buy a drone which for kids, which is a bit uh, more reliable, a, a bit better. It's a very cheap plastic, um, so definitely nothing I would recommend to purchase.